Hi everyone, welcome back to the summer edition of the Extra Five. Today I wanna to talk to you about how to do the kind of no makeup makeup look for the beach. My personal beach makeup, I spot conceal, use a little bit of SPF tinted moisturizer for sure, typically a little cheek tint, and always mascara. Maybe a little eyeliner here and there, but you know, who's counting? So today my very dear friend and brilliant makeup artist Sarah Uslin is gonna show you how to do the no makeup makeup look for the beach using some of the best products around that are long wear and somewhat water resistant that will last you from beach to barbecue. To start off this beach look, we're gonna start with a tinted moisturizer. From a tinted moisturizer, you're gonna get SPF and you're gonna get a little bit of coverage. Now to take this to the next step for that waterproof finish, I'm gonna add in just a little bit of Aqua Seal for Makeup Forever to really make it last. So I'm using Bobbi Brown's Tinted Moisturizer. This one is in medium. I'm gonna apply it to the back of my hand. Just one drop goes a long way. The next step is to go very simple with the eyes and use a long wear waterproof cream shadow. This shade is called Riches from Smashbox. I'm just using a little bit on the tip of my ring finger and swiping over the lid. I love to add just a wash of shimmer to the eye and these cream shadows are great for that because you don't have to worry about them creasing. You can literally go into the ocean and come out and still have it in the most perfect position exactly where you put it to begin with. Once the cream shadow is on, now we're gonna use a waterproof mascara, which is a must if you're out in the sunshine or laying at the beach, because it won't move when you're hot and sweaty or if you're in the water. This one is from CoverGirl. It's their Bloom Waterproof Mascara. Mascara is a great way to polish your look for when you're at the beach. You're not gonna look like you're wearing too much makeup. It's still gonna be natural and fresh. The final step is a really great blush that works well on the cheeks and the lips. This one's from Stila. It's the Watercolor Blush in Water Lily. It's an aqua blush, so it's a water-based blush, and it lasts a really long time. I'm gonna have you smile so you can get right on the apple of the cheeks. It's so pretty. The texture is gorgeous, and it's very wearable. It doesn't make you feel like you're wearing makeup which I think is so important when you're going to the beach. The great thing is you can swipe this shade onto the lip as well to accent your own color in your lip, but just emphasize it a little bit more and give a little sheen to the lip. Thanks everyone for watching this episode of the Extra Five Hamptons edition. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you learned a lot. Don't forget to subscribe and please check out Sarah Uslin's channel.